Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, supportive parents, talented children, and phenomenal colleagues. Welcome to this momentous occasion, the Bangkok Prep Primary Sports Awards 2022-23. This evening, we gather here to celebrate not just achievements on the field or court, but also the remarkable journey that the sport has taken us on, shaping us into the individuals we are today. Sport is more than just a game. It is a vehicle for growth, a catalyst for self-discovery, and an avenue for exploring the depths of our potential. It teaches us valuable lessons about dedication, perseverance, teamwork, and the pursuit of excellence. In the realm of sports, we discover our own inner strength, resilience, and determination that goes far beyond the boundaries of the playing field. As we engage in the pursuit of physical performance, we simultaneously embark on a journey of self-leadership and personal development. The challenges we face in sports not only test our physical capabilities, but also our mental fortitude, emotional intelligence, and character. Each victory, each defeat, and every obstacle encountered helps us to grow not only as athletes, but as holistic individuals, contributing positively to the world as global citizens. It is through sports that we learn to channel our passion into action, to push ourselves beyond limits, and to overcome the barriers that stand in our way. The journey of an athlete is not an easy one, but it is a rewarding one. It demands dedication, sacrifice, and commitment. But it is on this path that we discover the true power that lies within it. As Michael Jordan once famously said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. That is why I succeed. These words encapsulate the essence of sports, reminding us that failure is not an obstacle, but an opportunity for growth. It is through setbacks that we discover our true potential and find the strength to rise even higher. To our esteemed guests, we are honored by your presence here tonight. Your support in the development of the program has been instrumental in fueling the dreams and aspirations of our young athletes. Your belief in the abilities has created a foundation upon which they can build their future successes. Thank you for standing beside them and for recognizing the power of sports in shaping young lives. To the supportive parents, we extend our heartfelt gratitude. You have been the pillars of strength, sacrificing time and resources to ensure that your children have the opportunity to pursue their sporting passions. Your commitment and unwavering love have played a vital role in their journey, providing them with the encouragement they need when faced with challenges. You have shown them the power of unconditional support, and for that, we are truly grateful. Outstanding teachers and coaches play a pivotal role in the development of athletes, fostering their growth and helping them realize their full potential. These mentors possess a unique ability to shape and influence young minds, instilling them the Bangkok Prep life values. Through their guidance, these exceptional individuals go beyond teaching the technical aspects of the game. They offer personalized support, tailored to the individual needs of each child. They recognize that success is not only measured by sporting achievements, but also the holistic growth and happiness of their children. By fostering an environment that values personal growth, mental well-being, and character development, Outstanding teachers and coaches empower children to become well-rounded individuals who not only excel in their sport, but also thrive in every aspect of life. Their influence extends far beyond the field, leaving a long-lasting mark on the lives of those that they mentor, shaping their futures and inspiring them to become the very best version of themselves. At Bangkok Prep, we are very lucky to have the very best. And to our talented children, tonight is your night to shine. Each one of you has dedicated countless hours to improving your skills, pushing beyond limits, 
and reaching new heights. Your commitment to excellence and your determination have not only brought you here this evening, but have also set an example for others to follow. You have embraced the values of discipline, teamwork, perseverance, understanding that success is not just measured by victories, but by the lessons learned along the way. I stand here proud of the commitment we have made as a community to drive inclusive participation, clear pathways, and performance opportunities. I would like to recognize all of our under seven children who have represented Bangkok Prep this year in competitive sport. Please can our under seven stand up. These children have represented Bangkok Prep and are at the very start of their school sport journey. I would also like to recognize all of our under nine children who have represented Bangkok Prep this year in competitive sport. Please can you stand up? These children have represented Bangkok Prep and have completed regularly throughout fixtures, tournaments, and events this year. And finally, I would like to recognize all of our under 11 children who have represented Bangkok Prep this year in competitive sport. Please can you stand up. These children have represented Bangkok, uh, Bangkok Prep and competed in local, regional and international competitions and have led the school to unbelievable results in the Bangkok Games. A particular good luck to our Year 6 children who will continue to thrive and flourish as they look forward to secondary school sport next year. I wish you all an enjoyable evening of celebration and now I would like to invite Mr Brad Owen, Head of Primary, to the stage. Tall, isn't he? Um, can I do a quick survey before I get started? Could you put your hands up, uh, parents and teachers and staff, who played in the parent-teacher uh, competition uh, friendly football match on Tuesday? Please put your hand up. Please could you stand up, actually? I didn't say give them a round of applause, did I? <laughs> no, I didn't. Now then, if you're a PE teacher, a PETA, or a football coach, please stand up. <laughs> if I get you a pay rise, do you think you could coach our staff to win next year? <laughs> Thank you. Give them a round of applause anyway. Um, boys and girls, oh, well, I say boys and girls, I'll call you students these days. Um, I got to national standard and I nearly went to the Olympics. Do you want my advice? You'd like my advice? Yes? Right, listen to this then, you're going to regret that. According to the English Dictionary, Sport, an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual team, an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. That makes sports like darts and snooker an interesting challenge to the definition. An alternative could be a sport. An activity involving getting up at daft o'clock in the morning, skipping breakfast, getting injured, getting stressed, getting upset, 
getting tired and getting ratty, usually with your parents, and moaning, I don't want to go. My definition is this. Sport, an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. An, an activity to be enjoyed involving challenge, friendships, a sense of belonging, a sense of achievement, an activity that builds confidence and a healthy, sustainable lifestyle. Had to get sustainable in there, Michael. Sustainable lifestyle as well as being able to say, I did it, I beat you. Unless, of course, it's a friendly, where most of you think there's no such thing as a friendly. My advice to you as you grow up with sport, which you clearly have done so far, is to try any sport, any sport, at least twice. Picture this. Some of you know this story. I remember playing football once. Football coaches. I remember playing football once in a team with some seriously competitive footballers. The game was three hours drive from school. It was pouring with rain and I was freezing. After 90 excruciating minutes of kicking a bag of wind around a muddy, slippery pitch, we lost 1-0. And I scored the goal. <laughs> and lost my shoe. <laughs> I never took up football again because no one would talk to me in the minibus on the way home for three hours. I should have tried it again as football, rugby, netball, and basketball, to name but a few. No matter where you go in the world, whenever you go, you will always be able to play them. Simply put, no matter where you go, games and teams and friends just appear when you play sport. Although I focus my efforts on judo, six hours a day and sometimes nine times a week. And I've won more fights and more medals than I can remember. You cannot just do judo anywhere. And most of the time, I was on my own. But team sports are something really special. Give them all a try. As a result of my experiences, I want my children and you to learn to fight and defend yourselves if necessary. Look after your friends and family, but also take up as many team sports as you can and try anything and everything at least twice. No matter what sport you find yourself doing, do it to the best of your ability. Never give up and make as many friends as you can. They say it is the taking part that counts, but I say, you can take part while you win, can't you? That is it from me, except to say on a personal note, in 20 years of leading schools in one form or another, I have never seen so many children taking part and doing so well as I have done this year at Bangkok Prep. The credit to Bangkok's Prep Director of Sport, Mr. Michael McFarlane, the PE teachers, and especially the coaches who do not get thanked enough. They all deserve a standing ovation, but the question is, will you give them one? Have a great evening, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Owen. Okay, we have a fantastic evening ahead of us where we will recognize incredible achievements across all sports, genders, and ages. The first half of our, of our evening will recognize achievements in our team sports. 
before we enjoy musical performance from our talented student athletes showcasing how our children shine outside of sport. We will then continue with our individual sports before announcing our Sports Person of the Year award. The head coach will summarize the year in their sport, finishing by inviting all coaches on that sport onto the stage before we announce the award winners. Please save your, award, uh, your applause until all award winners have been announced and are presented to you at the front of the stage. The award winners will accept their award with a handshake and make their way to the front of the stage with their awards. This is your chance as an audience to celebrate with a loud round of applause whilst we take a lovely photo and before they return to their seats. Our awards this evening for most improved player and coaches player have been chosen by all staff members involved with coaching the children and they have used the criteria that you can now see on the screen. Our first sport of the night is basketball and I would like to invite Coach Andy to the stage. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our future superstars and Bangkok Prep sports fans. This year, Bangkok Prep's primary basketball program continued to grow and build off of last year's program. In particularly, the growth and interest in our U11 girls basketball program really surprised us this year. It led to us eventually scheduling their own ECA training days every Monday in terms two and three. With the help of the primary PE department, filling key coaching roles and recruiting, recruiting and encouraging more kids to join our sports program, we were able to run dedicated basketball sessions for U11 girls, U11 boys, and U9 and U9 girls together. It was absolutely amazing to see our U9 boys and girls get so many opportunities this year to compete and really develop a love for not just playing the game of basketball, but for their training and learning process as well. Our U9 boys and girls were able to compete in several BISA basketball tournaments and invitationals throughout the year with our second division U9 boys team winning first at the BISA basketball tournament in their division hosted by Bangkok Prep at T77. Our U11 basketball squads this year really outperformed beyond my expectations. While the girls program was growing in numbers early in the year, the U11 boys came running hot right out of the gate with an impressive second place finish at this year's Phobicia basketball tournament at Rugby International School in Pattaya. Besides Phobicia, the U11 boys and girls teams competed very admirably in numerous BISA basketball tournaments, invitationals at STA, Shrewsbury, and BPS, and of course, most recently, the Bangkok Games, where our U11 girls second division team played brilliantly, making it all the way to the finals and finishing second in their division. It was an exciting two days of basketball for sure. But even with all those great results, what I'm most proud of is the growth they had as individual players and together as a team throughout the course of the year. It is a true privilege to be able to see them improve so much from day one to today. It is just a very impressive thing to watch. 
This is a very special group of young student athletes, and I truly look forward to coaching these future stars as they continue on their basketball and sports journey ahead. I would like to ask Coach Joe North, who has been crucial in providing a successful basketball program to our students, to come up and present the awards to our winners. I'd also like to mention uh, thank you to Coach Anthony and Coach Bo, who were not available to come today, but they have also been a critical piece to the program this year. Okay, so on to the awards. Our under 11 boys, most improved player of the year, Arwin. Our under 11 girls, most improved player of the year, Wafia. Our under 11 boys, coaches player of the year, Tito. And our under 11 girls, coaches player of the year, Mika. Can we give them a massive round of applause? Okay, on to our under nines. Our under nine boys, most improved player of the year, Ben. Our under nine girls, most improved player of the year, Maya. Our under nine boys, coaches player of the year, Riku. And our under nine girls, coaches player of the year, Vue. Thank you very much. Okay, on to our next sport, which is football. And I would like to invite Coach Kuhn to the stage. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you to Coach Noom for making the video for us. Uh, yeah, what a lovely one. Uh, football this year was another fantastic year. Uh, we had a big, big number in every squad, in both boys and girls under seven. Especially under seven, we got like almost 50. Uh, as you can see, every Friday, this bulldog little one running around at football pitch at primary. Uh, we had an opportunity to play in many fixtures. And we host the Bulldog Football Cups, like uh, under 9, under 7, under 11. On behalf of all the coaches, I would, I would, it was a great pleasure seeing you all improve and have fun when playing football and represent the Bulldogs in the positive way. And I surely believe that you all will be a next generation to take the Bulldog Football team into the next level and next step. 
I know this year we have mixture of results with a lot of feeling that we have been through together. Like we win, we lose, we happy, we tired, we disappointed sometimes. But football is not, it's more than just a game of winning and losing. It teaches us sportsmanship, respect, teamwork, cooperation, and friendship. And for me, if you can use all this experience that we faced this year to encourage and improve yourself to be even better, not just the best footballer and also just a good person as well, you all are the winner. For under nine girls and under 11 girls, I did not coach you guys this year, but I was working with you some morning sessions and academy sessions. I went to see you at some fixtures and last week at Bangkok Games. So I'm, I am really impressed with your dedications, progressions. And I have got a message from Miss, Wood, Miss Woodland and Miss Morris for under nine girls and under 11 girls. So please, me, uh, please allow me to read it for you all. Uh, under nine girls, girls for Miss Morris. This year we have gone from stand to stand. We have 18 United girls training each week. Their dedication and progress has been amazing. They are versatile players and are showing a great understanding of what roles each player does on the pitch. They work together as a unit and are starting to communicate with each other more effectively. Their positive attitude has been wonderful and their drive for learning has shown through. I am so proud of all the players and look forward to seeing what they can do next season. Uh, under 11 goals, for Miss Woodland. This year we have had a fantastic season with a going squad. It has been a great pleasure seeing the girls gain more confidence this year and play some excellent football. In our first tournament of the season, the under 11 girls managed to score more goals than they did the whole of last season. The close knit team have supported each other and play very well as a team the whole year. Sorry. Unfortunately, Miss Woodland cannot be here today, but she wanted to wish the year six girls good luck in the future, and she hopes that you continue to play football wherever you are next year. And to year five, she looks forward to seeing you back in August to start the new football season. Uh, that's the message from Miss Morris and Miss Woodland. Uh, finally, before I invite the coaches up here, I would like to take this opportunity, opportunity to say a big well done to all players who represent a school, a school team in such a positive way. Thanks to all the coaches for giving up your time and this an amazing job. Thanks to all the parents who always support behind the scene. Uh, and also, I would like to say thanks to the event team, PCS team, security teams. Uh, I know they, be, they, may, they may not hear in the, in the homes, but uh, they are the one who keep the football pitch so beautiful for us, like they clean every morning. And also the security guard for help organize and look after the, the, our boys and girls when we have the tournament away and home games. Thanks to everyone. Now, I think it's time to invite all the coaches who have delivered an amazing provisions to all our students this year to present the award for their age group. Thank you. Okay, starting with our under 11. So our under, under 11 boys, most improved player of the year, Nalan. Our under 11 girls, most improved player of the year, Alexis. Our under 11 boys, coaches player of the year, Keen. And our under 11 girls, coaches player of the year, Nweti. Well done, under 11s. Okay, up next, our under 9s. Our under 9 boys, most improved player of the year, Yusun. Our under 9 girls, most improved player of the year, May. Our under 9 boys, coaches player of the year, Nanot. 
And our under nine girls, Coaches Player of the Year, Agnes. Unfortunately, Agnes can't join us today, but we will still give her a big round of applause. Big smiles, under nines. Fantastic, well done. Okay, and on to our under sevens. Our under seven boys, most improved player of the year, Hugo. Our under seven girls, most improved player of the year, Ray. Our under seven boys, coaches, player of the year, Luca. And our under seven girls, coaches, player of the year, Haru. Isn't it amazing to see our under sevens up on stage for sport? Fantastic achievements, well done. Okay, our next sport is touch rugby and I would like to invite Mr. Matt Ferrier to the stage. I'm going to ask my two coaches my, uh, that have assisted me this year to come up with me while I speak because, as many of you will know, this is not my first sport and I really did need their help to get what we got done this year. So I'll welcome up Coach Boots and Coach Noon. They've been outstanding support. It has truly been a privilege and a pleasure for us to uh, coach the touch rugby footballers this year. Um, it's in its infancy, the sport. Uh, this was our first full year of having uh, a whole year of practices and competition. We've seen nervous steps turn into confident strides and we've seen very timid voices, that sounds better, uh, become loud cheers. But probably the best thing that we witnessed over the course of the year, which is something that you would not have seen on the video, was our year sixes and our year fives would train with our year fours and year threes and some year twos. And the way that they coached with us with compassion and genuine care is something that is hard to describe, but it is certainly the bulldog way that I've come to love. Parents, I want to thank you for your unwavering support on the sidelines, especially in some terrible heat some days. Your sense of humour on the sidelines helped us and it also fueled our young children and you were certainly part of the development. Um, I'm going to share a very quick story that I only heard last night of a mother that had a high achieving athlete at the school some years ago. And she said he only just recently thanked her for what she did when he was going through primary school with all the sporting events. And I think it's because he's got to wake himself up now. He's got to get himself to practice. He's got to wash his own clothes. And he's realized that there's so much that goes on behind the scenes from you, the parents. So I'd like to ask all of my touch football, especially you guys, but every athlete that's in this room tonight, sometime tonight, grab your mum and dad, look them in the eye and say, 
thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice and your support and your love. To my players, our players, no matter whether you win an award tonight or not, we are so proud of you. Our year sixes, we are going to miss you. I said to some of the year sixes, I'm going to ask Mr McFarlane for me to come and train you in under 13s next year. And one of the boys reminded me, he said, Coach Matt, you told us we were going to get a better coach next year. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But uh, I want to um, thank my footballers. Thank you very much. And uh, I look forward to seeing many of you come and join us next year. Oh, one more thing. I'd like to see more girls in that touch football. We had six over the course of the year, three at the end of term three, and one of those girls is getting up on stage tonight. Okay, so our under 11 most improved player of the year, Ray Ange. And our under 11 coaches player of the year, Yahiro. Okay, moving on to our under nines, we have our under nine most improved player of the year, Kana, and our under nine coaches player of the year, Sebastian. Come on coaches, you can come and smile with them, come and smile with them. Well done, students. Okay, our next sport is netball, and I would like to invite Miss Alexa Morris to the stage. everyone and thank you for coming. Um, Netball is a relatively recent addition to our sporting program and I'm very pleased to say that we've included it last year it was our first pro season and we had around 14 players and now we've grown to around I have 30 under 11s only at present we fielded four teams at the Bangkok games at the end of the season and won three out of the four categories which was amazing so we're infant sports and I'm glad that the children are enjoying um, the sessions and they are proving dedicated and kind and caring so next year we'll build on that and the skills that they learn in netball can be transferred into many different aspects of their sporting careers and it gives exposure to different um, areas they've not explored. And I'm so grateful to have this group of children coming through. I'm losing a great bunch of year sixes. Um, but I'll be bringing, uh, coming over to secondary school, hopefully, um, to extend my coaching expertise. So I'll be involved in the transition there and grow the squads, hopefully. And it's nice around Bangkok as well. Um, there are many more schools introducing netball onto their curriculum. So therefore, the competition 
base is more. We had over eight schools around Bangkok competing at the end of the season and the scope is to grow further, um, which is a testament to them pushing forward and being the front runners in pushing their sports and making it a focus in Bangkok. So well done to you guys. Moving on, they have been peer coaches. They have coached each other and supported each other throughout. And they've, I have been proud to be their coach. And I look forward to see what they can do in their future. And good luck to my year sixes. And welcome back to my year fives. And hopefully I will get under nines base started next year. So I am looking to expand into the junior section. So thank you so much for being my in my squads and I look forward to, and wish you good luck in the future. Okay, so our under 11 most improved player of the year, Magnum. And our under 11 coaches player of the year, Mila. Well done to the students. What an incredible start to the awards with so many student athletes recognised within their outstanding Bulldog teams. That leads us on to a break in the awards for three performances from our student athletes who show that music and sport can work in harmony and that there is no need to choose when you can enjoy both. I would like to welcome Tate, Jai and Shreya onto the stage. Okay, first we have Tate from 4CD who will perform a piano solo. Absolutely phenomenal, Tate. Thank you very much. Next, we have Jai from 5SL who performs a drum solo.
a performance. Well, I enjoy. And finally, but by no means least, we have Sharia from 6LS, who, we, who will perform a vocal solo. Here I go again. I'm imagining a world outside, unlike the one I'm in daydreaming again. Oh, when I'll get a chance. There's a world that understands where you don't hear the whispers in the room. You're walking in daydreaming again. All I need is a chance. When I feel my fear staring at me, I tell it just wait and see. I know who I'm gonna be. I know who I'm gonna be. The world's half asleep. It's gonna wake up and see. It's a million and one I'm gonna be that one And if it's a shot in the dark I'm gonna be the sun And I just can't afford to be wrong Even when I'm afraid You're gonna know my name You're gonna know my name I can't barely sleep Cause my heart is always racing, chasing, pacing Around the room, living carefully It's something I don't wanna do When I feel my fear staring at me I tell it just wait and see I know who I'm gonna be, I know who I'm gonna be The world's half asleep, it's gonna wake up and see If it's a million to one, I'm gonna be Shot in the dark, I'm gonna be the sun, and I just can't afford to be wrong. Even when I'm afraid, you're gonna know my name. You're gonna know my name. I can see her now and then. The one I know that I could be. Yeah. She knew all along in her head So when the light is hard to see She's telling me If it's a million to one I'm gonna be that one And if it's a shot in the dark I'm gonna be the sun And I, I just can't afford to be wrong Wow. Um, there's three things that have absolutely amazed me. One is that we have children standing up in front of a jam-packed auditorium and they have the confidence to perform at such a high level. Can we please give them a huge round of applause? <laughs> the second thing that completely blows my mind as well is that we have some of our coaches who are delivering speeches confidently, clearly, in their second language. And I just, for me, standing up here doing it in English is bad enough. But for them to be doing it in their second language really is impressive. Can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> and, and lastly, just as we move towards... Um, our individual awards. Can I just say what an amazing audience you've been so far and considering the age of our students in the crowd, your behaviour is absolutely outstanding. Can we have a massive round of applause for the students so far? Okay, so we're on to our individual sport awards. 
Um, and we're going to start with swimming, who have had a phenomenal season in the water. And I would like to invite Coach Oates to the stage. This, oh, the first thing is I have this one the first time for me. Yeah, um, I had to thank you to Coach Noom to, to make the video. This one is, is very good. Okay. Good evening, parents, students, and everybody here. I hope you all have a good time viewing our sports awards tonight. I'm honored and excited to be a part of tonight's event. To introduce aquatics program, which includes swimming squad, learn to swim, and water polo. Bangkok Prep Aquatics Program has had a very really successful year with 210 students improving their swimming talents. This year, we have had participated in content such as Forbisir, BMAX, BISA, and Bangkok Games. We hosted four showcase swimming competitions, the Puppy Cup, the Puppy Dash, the Bulldog Cup and the Walk Dash. Each quad swimmer has done an outstanding job achieving incredible results in each tournament and receiving numerous individual and the team honors. My message to aquatic team. Thanks for your all, your hard work, effort, effort and dedication. I'm really proud that your positive attitude and the work culture that our team has developed over this year. It has helped to foster a very good culture. This year, Captain Fumita and Kit, I would like to express my gratitude for all, the, all that you have done for our school. Your passion and hard work will motivate the next generation. I would like to thank Coach Arm, Coach Matt, Coach Jiang, Coach Chom, Coach Palm, Coach Tai, Coach Yin is she moved to learning support and PE staff, as well as Mr. McFarland for your assistance in developing our aquatics program. Last but not least, a hug thank you to the other supporter parents. Without you, the success would not be possible. And keep in mind that the journey doesn't not finish yet. Allow this to be a step stone uh, to, to higher achievements. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a time to invite outstanding coaches to the state to the present awards to the swimmer. Please welcome. Okay, starting with our under 11s. Our under 11 boys, most improved sim swimmer of the year, Passin. Our under 11 girls, most improved swimmer of the year, Doyun. Our under 11 boys, coaches, swimmer of the year, Kit. And our under 11 girls, coaches, swimmer of the year, Famika. Applause. 
Our under nine boys, most improved swimmer of the year, Tate. Our under nine girls, most improved swimmer of the year, Yuika. Our under nine boys, coaches swimmer of the year, Leo. And our under nine girls, coaches swimmer of the year, Honoka. Well done. Okay, on to our under seven. Our under seven boys, most improved swimmer of the year, Tomoki. Our under seven girls, most improved swimmer of the year, Olivia. Under seven boys, coaches swimmer of the year, Matt. And our under seven girls, coaches swimmer of the year, Lisi. smiles on our under sevens. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done, guys. Okay, our next sport is tennis, a, a sport strongly supported by the school and has recently developed the Tennis Academy to four courts. I would like to invite Coach Oat to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and fellow tennis supporter, today we come together to celebrate the remarkable achievement of our tennis program, which has soared to new high in the BISA, BMAC, and Forbesia events this year. It is with great pride and excitement that we gather here to acknowledge. This year has been an extra extraordinary chapter for our tennis community. Hi highlighted by the opening of our tennis academy, with the, with the addition of four state-of-the-art court, we have been able to expand our reach, engage more participants, and create improved pathway for our budding talents. As we reflect upon the remarkable achievements of our tennis program. We cannot help but celebrate the triumph of our red ball competition teams. I am thrilled to announce that our team has emerged victorious in both red balls competitions at St. Andrews. Their success is a testament to their hard work and the exceptional coaching they have received. Furthermore, our tennis program has made it present fair in the under-11 BISA tournaments, showcasing the talents and commitments of our young players. Their performance in these events has been outstanding, and they have made us all proud with their remarkable skill and sportsmanship. The Bangkok Games at Bangkok Patana presented our tennis program with a chance to shine on, grand, on a grand stage. Our players displayed their talents, making it all the way to quarterfinal. In addition, 
to our outstanding performance in various tournaments. We had the honor of hosting our first Bangkok Games Tennis Festival. This monumental event took place across our four magnificent courts at Bangkok Preps, and it was a celebration of the spirit of tennis. The festival brought together players from different schools, fostering friendships and a love of and a love for the games. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to the players, coaches, and all those who have supported our um, tennis programs. It is your passion and dedication that have propelled us to their remarkable highs. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite Coach P.O. to come forward and assist me with the presentation. Thank you. Okay, so starting with our under 11s, our under 11 boys, most improved player of the year, Juan. Our under 11 girls, most improved player of the year, Kiyoka. Our under 11 boys, coaches, player of the year, Marvel. And our under 11 girls, coaches, player of the year, Tori. Round of applause. Well done. Okay, on to our under nine boys, most improved player of the year, Siwu. Our under nine girls, most improved player of the year, Serena. Our under nine boys, coaches, player of the year, Pranon. And our under nine girls, coaches, player of the year, Siyun. They already have fans. <laughs> well done, students. Gymnastics is our next sport, and I would like to invite Coach Bass to the stage. Good evening, parents, teachers, children, and coaches. The, the gymnastic program of Bangkok Prep had a very positive year. The number of students continue to grow from strength to strength, with many students doing regularly and continuing to develop their gymnastic skills. Gymnastics is a sport that is growing very fast in Bangkok. The future seems to be a very bright and exciting one. This year, we have been focusing on individualizing the training for new gymnasts who join our gymnastic academy this year. We help them to improve their gymnastic skills and techniques to help them achieve proper techniques of gymnastic skills. For current gymnasts from the previous year, we help them to improve their gymnastic skills to move them up to the different level of the team. We attend five gymnastic competitions this year, 
which were for Bissier Gymnastics, Bulldog G Internal Gymnastics, Falcon Gymnastics, Harold Gymnastics, and BMAC Gymnastics. All gymnasts on each level have done an amazing job and have incredible results in each competition. The, um, and receive a lot of individual awards and team awards. My message to all Bangkok Prep gymnasts, I just want to say thank you for your hard work, effort, and dedication. I am very proud of all gymnasts, and I love your attitude and the work ethic that our team has been developing over the year. We have a lot of big things coming up next year. I just want to say simply continue to work hard and enjoy the journey. Whatever you end up attending, this is a great sport that you will be able to play and enjoy for many years to come. I know when we are back in action again, our gymnast will be on top of the game for sure. I just want to say a massive thank you to Coach Mew, Coach Pa, and Coach Ding for all of their hard work to help all of our gymnasts. And thank you, Mr. McFarlane, for helping us uh, develop our gymnastic program. To all parents, I just want to say thank you to parents who continue to support the gymnastic program. Without your support, our success wouldn't have been possible. Thank you for your time and attention. And it's now time for the award. I would like to invite Coach uh, Pai, Coach Mil, Coach Ting for, uh, to present the award for our athletes. Okay, so gymnastics slightly different. They'll be done in levels. So the girls, level one, most improved gymnast of the year, new new. The girls, level one, coaches, gymnast of the year, Ali. Our boys, level one, most improved gymnast of the year, Mac. And our boys, level one coaches, gymnast of the year, Mika. <laughs> Guys, can you slide along? And then we get a lovely photo of all your smiles. Perfect. Can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> Okay, on to level two. Our girls, level two, most improved gymnast of the year, Erin. And our girls, level two, coaches gymnastic of the year, Julie. <laughs> our boys, level two, most improved gymnast of the year, Trin. And our boys, level two, coaches gymnast of the year, Victor. And our girls, level three, most improved gymnast of the year, Aria. And our girls, level three, coaches, gymnast of the year, Gam. <laughs> A round of applause, well done. A sport that continues to grow and has had excellent pathways into secondary sport at Bangkok Prep is badminton. And I would like to invite Miss Jo North to the stage.
it has been an absolute pleasure to wake up early on a Friday morning all year because this ECA takes place in the morning before school. The children have been nothing but enthusiastic, wanting to train, learn and play. Many of the children have been with me since term one until now. Um, they were itching for me to organise schools to play against. Um, then all of a sudden, at the end of term two, all the way through term three, we had back-to-back -back weekly games, so thank you, Mr. McFarlane, for those. We had some really positive experiences playing against ICS, STA Saturn, STA Dusset, and then into our TISAC badminton tournament, where we played against nine schools from Bangkok. I am so proud of the children for their efforts to play their shots, understanding of where to position, how to score, and their ability to help teammates and their opposition. They represented Bangkok Prep exceptionally well and received compliments from each school they played um, about how polite and sportsmanlike they were. I am proud to say that our badminton program at Bangkok Prep has grown this year as we had 18 children train in this term. That sounds very little compared to many of the other sports that have got up, but in the past we've had about 10 children come, so 18 is almost double that. Next year, hopefully we'll have more. I hope the children in year six uh, move into year seven wanting to pursue badminton, uh, their badminton career. Uh, we will miss you, um, but I know our younger players will do extremely well next year after this foundation year. Thank you for making this year so fun, and I'm already looking forward to next year. Okay, so our under 11 boys, most improved player of the year, Koki, unfortunately un unable to attend because he's sick, but if we can give him a round of applause. Our under 11 girls, most improved player of the year, Mina. Our under 11 boys, coaches player of the year, Pop. And our under 11 girls, coaches player of the year, Sinam. Well done. Okay, this brings us on to our last individual award of the night, and it is golf. Okay, primary golf has taken place through the vehicle of the International Schools Golf Tournament, which is the ISGT, and has had an extraordinary year, providing our children with unparalleled opportunities to showcase their talent on world-class golf courses. From the prestigious Thai Country Golf Club to the stunning Amata Springs and Chi Chan, our children have experienced the thrill of playing in truly remarkable settings. In addition to the ISGT calendar of events, our children have been privileged to participate in esteemed tournaments like the PPTV Junior Golf Tour, the TGK Golf Tour, and the TGA Singer Junior Golf Championships, where they have had the chance to earn world amateur ranking points. Moving on to the Primary Golfer of the Year Award, can I please ask good to come to the stage to collect his award. I would like to add I have not 
tuition him, <laughs> taught him, because he's far better and he can hit the ball far further than me. And actually, I've heard that Good is actually off to America tomorrow for golf. Um, not a bad life and as an under-11 golfer. Um, and he will be playing in Las Vegas. <laughs> that brings our sports awards for team and individual sports to a close. We now begin our final presentation of awards for our Sports Person of the Year. All staff involved in the PE and Sport Programme spent a lot of time considering the vast amount of talented student athletes at Bangkok Prep. To ensure fairness and consistency, we use the criteria currently on your screen that are important to us as behaviours and attributes that contribute to being a well-rounded, exceptional student athlete. To present the awards, please could I invite Kumpatrada, Mr. Duncan Stonehouse, Mr. Brad Owen, and Mr. Martin Breen to the stage. Okay, our under 11, our under 11 Sportsman of the Year, your hero. <laughs> our under nine Sportsman of the Year, Nanot. Our under 11 Sportswoman of the Year, Sayo. <laughs> and our under 9 Sportswoman of the Year, Maya. Can we give a huge round of applause? What exceptional athletes modeling all of the behaviors and attitudes we want as part of being a Bulldog. Well done. I would like to invite our Head of Primary Physical Education, Mrs. Jo North, to bring our Bangkok Prep Sports Awards to a close. I better do this, because I've got lots of paper. Um, my speech starts with hello, but I actually want to say good night to everybody, because the children are probably really hungry, hungrier than me, and it is almost time for bed, really, our bedtime too. So, good night. Um, athletes, parents, special guests, teachers and coaches, thank you for joining us today at our primary sports awards to celebrate another fantastic year of sport. Thank you, talented musical athletes, for today's entertainment. And please, let's show one more appreciation for those children, please. It is an absolute pleasure to see so many familiar faces and it is great to see so many new ones too. This afternoon's sports awards have showcased beautifully the amount of effort, growth and development of our sports teams and the sports programme this year. It has been fun packed, very much back to normal year with so many ECAs and sports academies on offer that take place before school, at lunchtime and after school and sports fixtures and opportunities for the children that take place in the week and at the weekends. The children have demonstrated grit, determination, dedication and sportsmanship across their many ECAs and sports teams. Our goal for the PE and sport programme has been to create a clear vision and pathway between the two areas. We have been following the three P's within the department, participation, pathways and performance. 
participation. Wow. For me, the amount of ECAs on offer and the vast amount of children involved in sports and wanting to be physically active within PE lessons and beyond the curriculum is outstanding. The PE and sport department have run nine sports ECAs, which have been led by our very knowledgeable and skillful set of sports coaches and PE department members, plus other staff members. 350 children have been involved in sports ECAs from year one to year six. We've been training multiple teams within each ECA and taken numerous teams to each competitive fixture. The children have had 298 competitive opportunities this year. Pathways between our curriculum PE lessons and our sports program has been fantastic. It makes us teachers really proud that children get the buzz from trying to trying a sport in a PE lesson, then wanting to participate for more hours beyond the curriculum. We talent spot children in lessons and encourage their desire to train longer and harder beyond us. We also identify those children who need help beyond the curriculum to meet skills needed to be successful. So we get those children involved in our programs like Learn to Swim, which is our feeder program into our swimming squads. Two more to go. Performance. As much as we all love to win and beat our opponents, I am proud to say that we not only had excellent results across all sports, but also the children achieved so much more than just final results. The hard work, determination, determination perseverance, teamwork and leadership amongst the children has made us very proud. And the children's enthusiasm to get involved in multiple sports was second to none. It has been wonderful to allow parents the opportunity to spectate at home and away fixtures again this year and volunteer to help at numerous events. And to have so many parents join us at these competitions has been fantastic. I hope parents have loved watching your children grow as young athletes and watching them love the activities they're involved in. I can only hope the children have enjoyed themselves this year um, training, learning and competing. I would like to express my appreciation for everyone in the room and children, please take the time this afternoon and before the end of term to thank your parents for allowing you so many opportunities. Thank you parents and family members for your continuous support um, and being their biggest supporter. You've cheered from the sidelines and ensured the children woke up early for practice or a fixture and got them there on time, well nourished. Last page, I promise. <laughs> Children, remember to thank your coaches and teachers. You have spent many hours training at practice and fixtures. Thank you, coaches. Sorry, thank you, coaches and teachers, for your dedication, guidance, and passion. You have cared for... Um, and instilled the values of fair play, sportsmanship, and you have encouraged the children to take risks beyond their comfort limits. Please thank our senior leaders who support our department. And please thank Mr. McFarlane, who leads our PE and sports department to ensure that the opportunities in sports continue to grow and develop. Thank you for the massive amount you do behind the scenes to ensure the sports year runs smoothly and to its fullest. I would like to address all participants today some of you are still out here <laughs> listening to me. Um, whether you're an award winner or not, well done and thank you for participa participating and making our sports program such a success this year. Thank you all for coming this afternoon to our primary sports awards. Have a wonderful active summer and be sure to rest and recharge. <laughs> Bangkok Prep community, it has been a wonderful evening. One I hope stays with you as a standout memory throughout your life, but one which also inspires you to be even more ambitious and thrive next academic year. I wish you all a safe journey home. Good night.